Welcome back everybody. I'm going to go ahead and like I promised, I'm going to cover this grid work that I've been working on. First off though, Persephone showed up a beautiful new card with the flowers bursting out from her center forward and out with those root chakra colors in the background. What a great card to accompany us on this journey of healing. All right, so first up, I have a piece of polished calcite. As I grab the stones, I'm gonna place them here for you to take a look at so you know which one I'm identifying inside this grid. I have a ton of stones, so first I'm just gonna go ahead and identify them. I have calcite, okay? I have aventurine, and those are the first two pieces of this grid for healing, okay? It's a heart and mind connection. These are the solar plexus, okay, as well as the heart chakra, and these are also connected to the crown. So these are the first two stones I'll talk about, okay? There's a lot in this grid itself, but these were the first two stones that I put in as anchors in the back. So again, calcite, it stimulates, you know, um, sexual energy, creative energy, it helps to transmute any kind of abuses in any of those areas or like blockages. And then aventurine is a really great stone for study, um, teaching, confidence. It, it boosts your stability of your mind. It provides you abundance and prosperity and luck when it comes to financial future and decisions when it comes to finances. Um, and it helps with the heart to mind connection. Okay, so next I have the Jade Stone. And Jade Stone is a really, really awesome, calming, soothing stone. It's a really small stone, but it's in this piece because it is kind of pricey depending on how you buy it. But you only need a small piece and it really brings balance and it brings comfort, it eliminates fears, and it's really a benevolent stone. It's used in China a lot for a lot of different a lot of different purposes, a lot of different grid work and for healing. All right. So then I have some um, other pieces here. Let's go next. Uh, this black tourmaline. So these black tourmaline pieces are just super great. They eliminate unwanted energies and repel supernatural forces that you don't want in here. And so I usually try to have a trinity of these to provide purification and guarding and transmute any darkness and pull that darkness to it and pull it away from the grid. So that's just the basics. Um, let's see, we can also cover this hematoid quartz piece is great for balancing. So these are like the background foundations for this grid. I'll get into these other pieces in the next video. But these are the foundations. Um, the hematoid, the mukite jasper, Hematoid quartz and mukite jasper. So with this here, the hematoid quartz, like I said, calming. It can it can bring calming to panic and chaotic and, and chaos energies. Okay. Um, and then as far as the mukite jasper, this is also for healing specifically the root chakras. So again, Mukai Jasper for like balance and stimulating like cleansingness of the chakras, especially the root chakra and the sacral chakra and the solar plexus. So like again, moving forward, but transmuting and really cleansing that. And it's, it's, it's a powerful, it's a powerful healing stone. I just know this intuitively. It, it's like a feel you know it's a very sustaining for long periods of time it can hold and and transmute for long periods of time all right i hope this was helpful this was just the basics in the next video i will cover a lot more of the placement and different aspects of gridding but this was just a couple of the stones that i use in this grid i think this video would take me a lot longer to cover if I want to go into every single one of the stones because there's so many awesome pieces going on here. But again, I will just go over the ones I have here so you can look them up on your own. Because again, I have magnets, amethyst, I have a personal stone from my backyard, and I have some animal spear items. That's just a personal note for the outside of the grid connecting with it. 
I have Lumerian Quartz, Tiger's Iron, a Merkaba Stone made out of Wars, Rose Quartz. I have a Faden Quartz. I have Shungite. I have Pyrite. Okay, and then I've got a, a Slinky, Hematite, a Nirvana Quartz. Okay, these are new. These are like from 2006. There's a story behind that. I have Tibetan Quartz, the Priscilla Stone, the Peacock Ore, and you can look these up on your own. I will cover more grid work in the videos to come. Again, I hope this was helpful and informative, and I just want to share a little bit more about the background of what goes into the work behind the grid and what it's actually doing, what these stones and crystals are doing in the background. All right, stay tuned, more to come. Talk to you soon, bye.